candy. Dracula Titans recap in five minutes, episode three. So we return back into the workroom. They reiterate a lot of the same shit that they were talking about last week. Blah, blah, blah. We saw it. Previously on X-Men. Abora and Erica Clash are back at it again because now we're talking about a curse that did nothing. And this is one time that I actually agree with Abora. The curse did nothing. Erica thought she was sending a message. Nobody got the message. I do think it's really funny that Abora got the curse from Erica and ended up looking better than Erica. I don't know what's going on in Erica's head. The curse was stupid. So eh. the consensus is that Yolfska went home. We know Yolfska went home. <laughs> Also, Coco Kane saying it's Ofska for Miss Yofska is probably one of the best things that has ever been said on TV ever. Baby, in my book, it's Ofska for Miss Yofska. <laughs> so then we find out that Kendra Onyx is back. Moving on. They go to the main stage and they find out that it is a sci-fi horror challenge, meaning they have to apply sci-fi and sci-fi horror to their personal drag. They don't just say, do this and make it so we like it. They say, do this and do it like you so we recognize that it is you. This is something that they can create from scratch and say, this is me as it pertains to this challenge. Something that one or two people did not quite, uh, did not quite understand and we'll get to that later. <laughs> this week's Fright Feet is a Gravitron simulation thing. I don't know, I forgot the name of it, but it's some sort of Gravitron thing. So they're supposed to be spinning and they have to do it for three minutes without throwing up. At this moment, I did not understand what was going on until we saw them get into these lockers that sort of look like tilt-a-whirl uh, rotor things. I don't know, you might not be familiar with that ride where it spins and you all stick to the wall. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I'm not sure that these Fright Feats are hard enough to eliminate people to bring somebody back in the week before. I'm thinking that it's gonna to have to take one that somebody's gonna say, no, I'm not doing that. And then they bring in the person that uh, did the week before. But if you, if you actually executed, then even if you throw up or you tap out, you seem to still go through the challenges. There was no winner for this. They didn't say there was gonna be a winner for this. So there's no stupid curse this week, thank God. After the Fright Feet, Melissa B. Fierce brings up that goddamn Yovska note again that happened on the first episode and was brought up again on the second episode and now we're talking about it again. So now that brings up the Ahura uh, Hoso Astrid Triangle, which... Who cares? I'm getting a little tired of the Hoso Astrid Ahura Triangle. Same Eva Destruction. Same. Melissa and Kendra go back into the cauldron to talk for some reason, and it's just more produced. So what do you think? So what do you think about this? Oh girl, I don't think bl It's like, oh my God, it's so produced. What's funny is that even Coco Kane's entrance into this conversation seems very produced, but what Coco Kane does is she makes it very honest. <laughs> if that's what they want to focus on, then by all means, distract yourselves. Save me the effort. Then Melissa B. Fierce has an actual genuine moment and it breaks my heart because I kind of been in that situation before. Now here's my favorite part of the show, the workroom. Showing what everybody is doing. Showing what these artists are capable of making within the parameters of the challenge. It's wild to watch them create something out of nothing because a lot of this stuff, it, it just comes from the depths of their minds. Tonight's judges are, are two of my favorite people on the planet right now. Davis Del uh, David Dosmolchen, who is a, an incredible actor. He's been in a ton of stuff. He's been in Marvel stuff, DC stuff. He is fantastic. And then of course we have Alaska Thunderfuck, who, I mean, I mean. We get to the performances and of course, some of my favorites tonight, Coco Kane. Coco Kane looks sexy as shit. And when she, even when she's walking off the stage after the judgments, it's just, it's, it's fucking hot. Some of my other faves tonight are Melissa B. Fierce in this glam predator thing. Fucking beautiful. Also, Victoria Black with the thing. That was amazing. That was amazing. Also, Holso, uh, you know, I, I usually, when I'm looking at Holso stuff, I'm always doing this. What am I looking at? What, what, what's happening here? What, what is this? And this was one time that I did that and I saw the details. It wasn't as muddy as I'm used to from Hoso. 
it's actually very clear. It had the three faces, but you still saw Hoso, and that was something that the judges brought up. We find out that Kendra and Abora are in the bottom again. I love Kendra Onyx. Um, I have seen her perform, and I, you know, the performances never lack. Kendra Onyx is a performer. Of course, Abora's when she talked about it, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. You know, sort of this angel eater, but we never really got that. It was pretty. And Astrid and Erica Clash <laughs> play victim in safe. Astrid goes on this rant. Of course, this is edited rant, <laughs> but <laughs> it's still like she went on and on and on. It was nonsense. Hoso is up Abora's ass again. And, and, and she's made it very clear that if anybody else is in the bottom with her, she is gonna vote for Abora. I have this gut feeling that Abora is gonna make it to the end. <laughs> they want to keep Abora around for the storyline, and I, I want to blow my brains out. One thing Coco Kane says is like, "Well, if she ain't going home, she better hope she's going home because she just alienated everybody in the room. Everybody, nobody's on her team anymore. Even Hoso has second thoughts about being on her team at this point. But of course, we find out at the end of all this that Kendra goes home. That makes me very sad because Black Girl Magic, and uh, I love you, Kendronix. We have quite a few episodes left to go, so buckle in. I'll see you next week. Hey, Candy.